Hi, I'm Tony. This is Slack. Welcome to Smog Vlog. Today we're going to be reviewing the Aspire K4 Quick Start Kit. Zap, kapow! And lots of bang bang noises. <laughs> So first up, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Craig at New World Vaping for sending the K4 over for us to review. Uh, as always, these reviews are going to be entirely our own and our own opinion, all the good, all the bad. So you know, let's enjoy the ride. Right, okay, welcome back. As we said, we're reviewing the K4 from Aspire. So yeah, the K4 is the big boy of the new series of sort of all-in-one kits from Aspire. It's the big boy with a Kalito on top and a 2,000 milliamp hour battery complete with carbon fiber lovely wrap or down the bottom below okay so the little brother to the k4 is called originally enough the k3 which sports a smaller tank with 1.8 ohm coils and the battery is only a 1200 milliamp hour and then continuing down the family tree you've got the k2 which is the tiny little runt of the litter uh, by no means a bad device but you know you're coming in again with a smaller tank which has got a 1.6 ohm coil and only an 800 milliamp hour battery Okay, so while the K2 and K3 are smaller than the K4, they still feature the same cool styling as the, as the K4, and they're absolutely brilliant to look at. And they're all still great devices for getting people off of cigarettes. Yeah, so all of these devices, the K2, K3, K4, are like a huge step forward for the sort of all-in-one pen type devices, you know, they all perform really great, but it's not about all of them, it's about the Aspire K4. So without further ado, let's dive down and take an unboxing. Oh, go on then, let's unbox the K4 Quick Start Kit from Aspire. So quick tour around the box, it's that tough plastic box. You can see all the good stuff here, teasing you. You want to get into it, don't you? We're nearly there, but let's go around that box first. So yeah, it says what the device is. Coming around the sides, we have nothing of interest. Coming over the back, however, we've got some blurb here, saying if you're considering quitting smoking, this is a great way to do it, and we couldn't agree more. You know, these Quick Start Kits are brilliant for giving up smoking so simple to use just awesome bits of kit hopefully this one will stand up to the test inside the kit you have one tank 3.5 mil one battery 2000 milliamp hour two coils one pre-installed and one Miko usb cable which is an upgrade to micro usb going down the bottom we have our scratch and sniff authenticity sticker easy for me to say so without further ado let's just peel all this crap off and get into the good stuff Right, okay, we're in. So before we get where we really want to be, let's just peel this open, have a look inside. User manual for the quick start kit, nice and small. Standard affair of pressing the fire button five times, go turn the device on and off. And the light also shows what your charge level is. Talks about the protective features, specifications of the device and charging instructions. We have one warranty card and contact details for the repair centers. Standard warning about leaving it to stand for a while with the juice in it before firing it and avoid that awful dry burn. We have our Miko USB cable, which is actually the same connector as the micro USB cable. Aspire to be a cock ring. And here's one of those spare coils. Now these, I believe, are the new 0.27 ohm Aspire Kalito coils. Ooh if it's ever going to zoom in. There we go. So, same deal as the normal Cleto coils, but they're 0.27 ohms, which run at, as you see, 40 to 55 watts. And here we go, we're in at the good stuff. Already it's coming apart, so I'm just going to take that battery off. In fact, we'll start with the battery, because that's going to be the easiest thing. Here is our button, this little Aspire button here. And here we go, nice blue light there. Really cool, nice sort of length of, of press. Here's our USB charging and I believe a charge light in there. Hopefully venting, but I guess it's going to have to vent through the USB. Hopefully not out of the top. Though hopefully it won't need to vent at all because, you know, it's designed to work with all this kit and we shouldn't be running into any problems. Okay, and here we are with our Cleto off the top. Now, it's the same affair as the Cleto, so if you want to see our review of the Cleto, then 
that's going to have more info. However, these are new coils, so I'm excited to see how they work. Comes pre-installed with a black cuff up top, which is nice. It keeps the look good. And as well as the new black cuff that we have pre-fitted on there, you can also see they've gone to a black grommet. Previously, it was a clear grommet on the black one, which I didn't think looked particularly good. This looks much sexier. Going down the bottom, we've got a goldy looking 510 centre pin there. Nice threads, same as the original Kalito. Okay, so airflow is done by these four rings around the bottom where you turn them off. The drip tip on the Kalito, if you're not familiar with it, is this just black plastic tube here. Once this is off, you can then add your own drip tip, but you will have this black rubber washer sort of showing. It looks a little unusual, but it works perfectly fine. So if we want to get into either change coil or juice, we now need to unscrew this top here, and then you know you just fill up your juice here. It's worth noting that to change coil, you need to take all the juice out. That's, that's not a massive problem, but it's not great either. So, glass is off. If you want to change coil, and there we go, we can see inside the device. The threads have come really clean, uh, as they usually do with the Cleto. So, anyway, I'm still going to give it a clean, which is great advice for any tank, just in case there's any machine oil left loitering. We'll give it a clean, stick some juice in it, and see what it's got. Right, back to the studio. Okay, so here we are back in the room. Thank you, Unboxing Slack. Again, the argument persists with Unboxing Slack versus Unboxing Tony. You guys decide. You guys, it's up to you. It's not about that. It's about the K4. Now, the kit contains, consists of, the tank, the Solito, and the K4 battery. During this review, we're going to start with the tank uh, and reviewing all the sort of points to do with that, and then we're going to do the battery. But at points during the review, we're going to sort of like cross contaminate and uh, see if anything's born of that. No, it's just it's, some things naturally intersect over, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, and at the end, we're going to sort of dive down and talk about what makes this kit as a whole good and then finish with our normal pros and cons. Now, if bits of this don't interest you, because our reviews can get quite long with all the, the bullshit banter <laughs> and, you know, whatever general chaos stuff falling off the shelf at me, uh, don't forget to check in the time code to skip to the bits that interest you most. First up for you guys is the tank. Now, it's a Salito, so we've, we've already done it before. Um, as we said in our previous review, by the way, check our video section. There'll be something popping up here to tell you where it is. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know you found it. It's the Clito, which we've already reviewed and found it all right, but not as amazing as some people feel it is due to a lack of flavour and its flimsiness. However, this one is using the brand new 0.27 ohm Clapton coils and uh, yeah, spoiler alert, these are a marked improvement over the 0.2 and 0.4s that came before. The 0.2 was spit heaven, uh, you know, if you like it spitty then it was your thing and it's not really my thing. And the 0.4 was alright but a little bit underpowered. This sort of is, this, yeah, is a good step forward. And so that brings us quite nicely into coil options for you. Now out of the box it comes with two 0.27 ohm coils. You can also buy, buy, buy? Buy the uh, the point twos and the point fours that uh, are available on the market for the tank. However, there's still no RBA section and, and TC coils, which is fine because the battery can't deal with that. Well, it can't deal with TC. It can't. Unless there's a firmware upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> it can't. <laughs> Where we felt the 0.2 and 0.4 ohm coils let us down on flavour before, these 0.27 ohm Clapton coils have a massive improvement on flavour in our opinion and we believe they are by far the best of the coils for this device. Moving now firmly into airflow for you guys, uh, this tank is probably one of the best airflow tanks that, that we've reviewed. It's great, one of the few tanks that we don't run wide open. Yeah, so this tank is perfect for a director lung hit, you know, if you're not familiar with that because you're coming at this as a starter kit, that's where you just sort of inhale straight into your lungs. Now, 
we have to turn it down a bit which while we do that we like it a little bit more restricted than this offers this offers wide open if you were to sort of close it down quite a lot you can quite easily do a mouth to lung hit which is more akin with what you're going to be doing with smoking and if, if this is a smoking cessation device for you then you know you will want to dial the airflow down but the fact that you've got that option means you know you're going to be able to tailor it to exactly how you want what I will interject with at this point, though, is that if you're watching this re review and you are new to vaping, it's something to be aware of is the, the vapor's cough, which you might have heard of, you might not have. Now, that is the transition from smoking traditional tobacco cigarettes to inhaling vapor products, which produce steam, which is effectively the same as water out of a kettle, you know. Um, it's a different animal altogether and so you will be coughing with it but it won't last forever and it will get better and delicious flavors yeah it's perfectly normal so just don't think something's wrong particularly if you've maybe tried a cigar like and you're stepping up to your next device this is a great device but you can't control the power you can you can control the airflow a bit but you know you probably will get that vapors cough so just be warned and it's not a problem stick with it Next up for you guys is tank capacity. Now, for the K4 kit, it comes with, or well, the Solito comes with a 3.5mm tank capacity, which is going to be fine for beginners. And one of the best bits about it is the fact that the coil makes up the entire chimney and it's straight up. Some chimneys, you know, are wider at the base, thinner at the top, and that means the top half contains a lot more liquid than the bottom half, so your e-juice doesn't go down at a continual rate. With this, you know exactly how much is in there, because if it's halfway down, it's halfway. If it's quarter way down, it's, you know, quarter. It, it's so easy to use, it really does lend itself to a beginner kit, and, uh, yeah, awesome. Right, on to ease of filling. So it's top fill, which is always going to be a winner. You just unscrew the top, pull your juice in, so that's good. However, when you take the top off, the, you know, the top is holding via the coil the glass in place, and the rest of the glass without the top is just held in place by a rubber grommet down the bottom. Now, as you're forcing your dropper bottles in, you can feel the glass moving about. If you were careless, it could come off. It's not happened to us yet. Um, and I'm fairly careless, so you know, it, it's not terrible. It's just not the best design in the world. However, top fill is, so you know it's a small price to pay. What's important here is the fact that if you've ever got to change the coil in the tank, you've and you've got off like a full tank full, you're going to have to dump your entire juice. Either have an empty bottle or you know kitchen sink it, and and you're losing it because the coil is such an integral part of the tank that you, you take it out and then all your juice is just going to blurp straight down into the base and then out through your, your airflow holes. So it's, it's a minor point, but it's something to consider. Yeah, it is a pain in the ass, but it's something that's only going to happen rarely, fortunately. Anyway. And that leads us quite nicely on to sturdiness for the tank. Where the coil forms sort of like the the internal structure for the holding the top and the bottom together is not the most sturdy of tanks while it is absolutely fine in use you know in general use you don't have any concerns about its sturdiness it's not going to be as sturdy as a sort of metal frame tank you know something like the crown you know so i don't think it would survive a drop or being crushed in a bag in the same way one of those metal tanks would However, that works great in keeping the weight down for the tank, and it holds it all together just fine. Alright, let's talk about the drip tip for the device. So it comes with this Delrin tube up top. It's a little bit short, but it works alright. You can also pull the Delrin tube off and then use a regular drip tip on the inside of the device itself. Now, where there's like that rubber O-ring around the outside, you, you're still going to see that with your own drip tip on. It does look a little bit naff, but it works, and that's the main thing. And while we're at the top with that drip tip, it's also worth noting that you get that included little heat shield silicon malformed cock band sort of thing. It's there to help you stop you burning your lips on the top of the tank So because it's only a stubby drip tip. So if, like us, you just get a bit overzealous and... <laughs> it, it, it does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to keep you from getting burnt lips. However, it is just a pain in the arse. Yeah, not a fan of the heat cuff. Moving now on to flavour for you guys. Really impressed with these new coils. We went in expecting to be underwhelmed with the point twos and the point like like the point twos and the point fours that we'd previously tested in uh, in the Salito video. Pleasantly surprised. 
Yeah, right away from the first couple of hits, not really any bedding in period, and the flavour was so much better already than the previous coils. I was like, yes, this is it, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, Aspire have bought that A game for flavour now, which is what was missing, we felt, from the Clito. So these new coils, yeah, definitely, they are good. Next up for you guys is vapour production. The tank and the coils are highly capable. capable. However, given the K4's battery, the fact that it's only a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, the performance is turned down a notch. However, it is good. But let's just see how good with a heat test. Right, so for all of our tank videos, and I guess kit videos are going to be included in that, you know, we, we do the heat test where we just take a hit after hit after hit after hit. We sort of torture test the device more than you would usually do during normal vaping use. This allows us to test for the heat, that, you know, how much it heats up. We're leaving the rubber cuff on for this because I don't want burnt lips. But yeah, we see how it heats up. We see how it deals with wicking with hit after hit after hit. We see how the flavour lasts over those multiple hits and just the good stuff like that. Uh, you guys are also going to get a C vapour production from this because we're probably about to disappear. So uh, I'm just going to get going with this. Yeah, so it's a lovely smooth hit. Yep, agreed. Now while the tank, I feel, can definitely go further than the battery, it's actually nicely levelled for, for the amount of wicking that it's going to be doing. Now, I, mean, I personally prefer my hits just a little bit harder than this. However, it's on the good side of, you know, except... It's, it's on the good side of... <laughs> on the good side of acceptable. And you can see the amount of vapour it's chucking, you know. It's a good amount of vapour. I mean, that, that's wide open for us who aren't beginners. It's, it's not wide open. It's, it's closed down just slightly. I thought the, uh, the flavour of the juice was coming through a bit more. Yeah, closing that air off just a tiny bit will tend to always increase the flavour of your juice. I think that's probably about good. Before we lose the room completely, yeah. So each hit, it was wicking really well, the flavour's really good, and, you know, it's just no problems with it. Now, the tank itself does get a little bit warm. It's not the worst tank we've no. used by a long shot, particularly on this battery. Like we say, we're not giving it full welly. The battery doesn't give it full welly. However, it gives you a good hit, particularly if you're a starter, it gives you a massive great hit. You know, it's really good. We're not taking anything away from it. We just feel the tank can do more. But in terms of handling the heat, absolutely not a problem. Mod hot. You can touch it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's warm, that's it. And, you know, we've not got any concerns about blowing the mod up from the amount of heat that we've done there. And that's more than you're probably going to be hitting this, you know, when you're just using it yourself because you need to breathe between hits. So, yeah, handles it pretty well. Right, while we're in the testing phase, we've turned it right down. So, I mean, there's like a pinhole of air now from the three air vents on the side, you know. And we're going to do a mouth-to-lung hit, a couple of mouth-to-lung hits, just to see how that goes. Because if you are coming from cigarettes, this is going to be how you probably would want to start. Well, I will say for us, though, this is a bit of a weird thing to do. It is. It's, it's been a long time since I've sort of done the mouth-to-lung hit. Or found the button. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's there. It turns it all right down. You can see it. I mean, the vapour's less because we're taking them short hits, more akin to how I used to smoke cigarettes, and it, yeah, it handles it all right. Moving on now to spits and swallows, leaks and spits. And no, it's, it's dead on. No leaks from it at all. Yeah, I was a bit concerned because this is down in the 0.2 region. Now, the 0.2 cores, they were horrible. They tried to recreate the bed scene from The Exorcist by, like, vomiting in your mouth. It was fucking awful. Uh, however, these ones, absolutely no problem. We don't get any spitting. There's a tiny bit when you overduce your cores at the start, and then it settles right down. Throughout the heat test, there was no spitting. If you leave it a while, there is no spitting. It, it just works really well. The only concern I have around leaks is when you're changing that coil and trying to get it all back together, but we've already covered that. Next up for you guys is the 510, and yes, it's got a nice 510. Good threads. Yep. Nothing more to be said. 
Moving on. Now, next up, we're going to be talking about the mod. And as I've just been talking about the 510, we might as well hit up the mods 510 as well. And it's exactly the same. Really sharp, nice, good, silvery, works, does exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah, we've used a bunch of stuff on here, you know, all different ohm ranges down to the lowest we used was uh, 0.11. And uh, yeah, it works just fine. And, and yeah, screws on, fits, it works just great. So next up for you guys is power range and features and protections. As we've already said, it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, it's got a cool feature where you get down below 3.5 volts. The light around the outside changes from blue to orange, so you know it's getting ready for charging. And it's got a few protections thrown in as well. It's got long hit protection. If you press the button for over 10 seconds, it's going to cut it off for you. Now, that's pretty cool in case you've accidentally left it unlocked in a pocket or a bag or something. Don't do that. It's dangerous. It's also got a short circuit protection in case something goes wrong with your coil or your tank on top. It's also got low voltage protection, so again, yeah, it's going to tell you when you need to charge it and it will stop working once it gets below 3.2 volts. Uh, also, it's got an overcharge protection, so when you're charging it, it gets up to that 4.2 volts, it just cuts off the charge for you. And lastly, for features and protection, it's got bypass output, which just means that once it's plugged in, you're also able to vape it at the same time. Plug and play. So, moving on to button quality. It's good, it works well, it's got a light around it, but let's talk to this guy. Yeah, okay, so I mean, I find the button a little bit hard to find, where it doesn't really stick out that much, you know, especially when it's on a lanyard, you like, end up pressing just the side on not getting anything. It, it's not terrible, but, you know, it's not there. So you'd think maybe with the button being sort of submerged, you won't accidentally be firing it, but unfortunately I've had it where I've laid the device down and the button sticks out just enough to fire it without you meaning to. So you kind of get the worst of both worlds from that, which is a shame. However, it's not really a big issue. It's just worth mentioning. Okay, several things that we would normally cover for, for normal mods with going to bypass for this because they're just not applicable those things are menu operation firmware update temperature control and battery cover quality what is important is the button pushes um it's five clicks for on five clicks for off and push to vape that that's kind of where it's at nice and simple like us so battery life in operation while well, while we've been testing it when when i had it to test Whilst using it with other devices, I got about a day, day and a bit from it, which was nice. Yeah, same. I was getting about a day and a half again. I was using other devices, but I was using it a lot. I was mm. surprised how good the battery was for only 2,000 milliamp hours. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but yeah, it lasts really well. Uh, once it's flat and you know, I run it proper flat and timed it, it was a shade under three hours to give it that full charge, which is nice. And while it's charging, you've got that red indicator to say it's not quite there, and that goes green on the bottom next to the USB port to tell you that it's charged. So yeah, I mean, all in all, pretty happy with the battery life i think we're underselling this i mean coupled with the fact that it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery but also the fact that the coils in it are 0.27 ohm resistance it, it's a that's quite a large draw for for such a little battery and to be getting that sort of operation out of it i was surprised and i, I think he was as well yeah it, definitely it's fantastic Okay, short of singing Spice Girls when two become one, let's talk about the kit as a whole. So, you know, the first thing we're going to talk about is portability, size and weight. And yeah, it is awesome. For what it is, this is really, really lightweight. You know, you've got a lot of battery power in there, battery life from it. And particularly when combined with a lanyard, you know, this fits so easy around your neck. Now, it's a little bit bulky in size, but the weight is just not there. It's, it's, it's nice and lightweight. So for all the times we've been ragging on the Cleto for it being sort of flimsy and that, this is where it really comes into play, where it's something that, you know, it isn't sitting on a Wismec Relo, you know, with three batteries, because it kind of doesn't make sense. Here, it really does. It's so lightweight. It's, it's you know, like that race car where you take all the stuff out and it's just going to go really quick. This weight reduction kit, you know, the Cleto here, it really comes into its own. So for all its faults, it, it certainly makes up for it in the portability field. 
Yeah, and the battery life is, is so good that, you know, you can take it out for a day with your lanyard, lanyard put it, pop it around your neck, just sort of like walk out, don't think about it. Uh, and you've got sort of like more or less an all day vape there. And even if you don't have an all day vape, if you are sort of like that vape heavy that, that you'd use it that much, you've got emergency top up. You just fucking plug it straight in and vape while you're charging it, which is brilliant. Yeah, exactly what you want. Awesome. So now let's talk about styling of the device and we both agree that it, it looks fucking amazing. Much like the C-Fiber but they're just dressed in black this time. It, it just looks a slick bastard. Yeah so with the black one you get the black tank and what I think is a great improvement is they've now included a black grommet down here. The original black Cleto came with a clear grommet and it looked naff. It just looked like some sort of but, you know, it was just there. It was the elephant in the room. You couldn't not see it. Whereas this black really ties in with the rest of it. Also, you get the pink kit where it's got pink carbon fibre complete with the silver cleto on top. And it, they just both look really, really good. Very quickly for you guys, warranty. It's got a 90-day limited warranty. Yeah, it's standard warranty where it covers defects in manufacturing. It doesn't cover if you drop it, so don't drop it. Okay, guys, we're reaching the end of our review. Now, as always, we will sum up by way of pros and cons will as always start with the con so that we're on ending on those beautiful pros okay first up for me on the cons list is going to be the performance of the device now it is really good i kind of want to prefix it with that but i just feel the tank can do a bit more than is being delivered by the battery now that may be a conscious decision by expire where they wanted that power performance level it still gives a real hit but i just feel it's holding a little something back Next up for the cons is the fact that the tank is just a bit flimsy. I mean, during this review, we had an incident where we had to refill it and, and the glass just popped off and we dumped some juice straight away. It's, it's, it's fucking annoying is what it is. It is, but again, as we said, this does sort of go a long way to keep the weight down, which really suits this kit. So it's kind of a sacrifice for something. You, it's not going to be that much of a problem, so... Next up on the cons list is going to be this annoying rubber heat collar that sits on the top. Now, while it does its job really well, what I keep finding is that it wants to curl up and to sort of fold up. And you go to put your lips on it, it doesn't quite want to get there because you've got... So I found I spent a lot of time just pushing it back down. It's not a big thing, but it is a thing. Next up is the fact that anytime you want to change your core and you've got a tank full of juice you've got to dump your juice the only saving grace here is that those coils do last a decent amount of time yeah we were getting about three weeks from each coil out of here and that was with a loss of use so yeah it's pretty decent uh, if you're wondering how you'll know when your coil is going it will just start tasting a little bit metally it will start tasting a bit wrong uh, and each hit will start getting hotter to the point where you're like Fuck, I don't want to vape that anymore. Time to change the coil. And last up for the on the cons list for this little bastard, because you know we've ragged on him enough, is the fact that for a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, it is a pretty large size. Yeah, so I mean, if you're comparing a standard 18650, you know you've you've got a good like inch and a half or so there that is extra over that now these can be obviously 3000 milliamp power so if you're reducing the size of that you could quite easily have made this smaller i would have thought it's not terrible but it is a little bit bigger than some of the other competitors out there and it is only 2000 milliamp hours so you know i'd even like to see maybe 3000 milliamp hours in there and the same size or a little bit smaller okay before we get on to pros we've we've got one to stick in between the two of them so it's not really a pro it's not really a con it's a pron as we call them and that is when you turn the battery on and off the because of the way you have to turn it off you have to use the the fire button it will engage the tank and so you will get a hiss so, yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just worth mentioning that it's perfectly normal. You are just firing your device and it's going to be just burning a tiny little bit of juice that's in there. Not a problem. Something we notice. But anyway, let's move on to the pros. First up is going to be the weight of this thing. It is just super, super lightweight. You know, we said, you know, the Cleto is a really lightweight tank and, and it's a nice lightweight battery. It just makes for great portability. Next up on the pros has got to be the improved flavour you get with those new and improved 0.27 coils. They are just beautiful. 
again one of our sort of pros from the just the normal aspire cleta is this massive airflow that you get with it it's just you know really really big airflow obviously you can turn that right down if it doesn't suit you but you've got the option to go big next up is got to be the ease of use that this kit provides i mean the fact that you get the tank the coil the battery all in one plug it in charge it up dump your juice in the top of it bam you're good to go for a day it's fucking brilliant out of the box another pro is the charging indicator i really like it it's so simple to use you know when you're charging it's red when it's charged it goes green so you know there's no ambiguity about what's going on with your charging and next up is the styling of the device the the fact that they've used that carbon fiber wrap it's all nice and cool and black looking it is smart 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 and talking about the box another good thing about these 0.27 coils is it doesn't really take long to wait for them to start working you know you just juice them up and they're ready to go basically it does say let them stand for two minutes if you know how to juice them the quick way you can get past that but more importantly the flavor is there straight away some coils like the crown coils you know they they give in my opinion that same sort of really good flavor but they take a little bit of bedding in you know maybe a week maybe two weeks till they start really working their best this just right away you like bang flavor brilliant okay guys so summing up for the aspire k4 starter kit we love it nothing more really to be said about it it, it I mean, we, we are seasoned vapors, both of us. We, we have mods coming out of areas, and for us to be impressed by a starter kit like this is really saying something. The 0.27 coils that they've got, they've introduced with the, the Salito, Cletus, are really fucking hitting the spot, coupled with that lightweight 2000 milliamp hour battery that will comfortably sort of see you for, for a day or so. It's the perfect storm. Yeah, I mean, this is just a great kit. It's the big boy of the three new ones that they've introduced there, that, you know. And I think it's going to be a good sort of range, you know, from beginner through to people who've been vaping for a long time. Are going to get something out of this. We certainly did. We enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be a fight over who gets to keep this one, I think. While we're fighting about who's going to be keeping it, we'd like to throw it out there and say thank you to New World Vaping, who gratefully donated this for for review purposes while we're on the subject we'd just like to say that if you head over to new, new world vaping's website you'll find the kit available on their website for about 40 quid yeah so do be sure to head over to newworldvaping.com and check out their site you know a really good place to get your bits and pieces from also don't forget to check out new world vaping uk on facebook you know, they've renamed the uk vaping forum new world vaping uk and uh, we're quite active there so you know if you want to hit us up in the comment section here with any questions that you have about this device or others or catch us over on the new world vaping uk on facebook okay guys so that about does it for this review for the aspire k4 starter kit we hope you enjoy what we're doing for you. We hope you like it. And if you do, please drop us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are quite chatty. <laughs> and lastly, thank you for watching Smog Vlog. We can't see your head. Right, that'll do. Yeah, my wrist is <laughs> killing me. Um, broken hand. No, yeah, just trying to hold hold it at a really weird angle. Coming down the bottom, we have our scratch and sniff authenticity. Coming down the bottom, we have our scratch and sniff. A little like I am going holio. Back to you. Back to the studio. Back to you miserable bastards on the sofa. It's great. One of the few tanks that we don't run wide open. Are you happy with how that went? Clearly you're not, so I shall do it, it again. It did sound a bit like you were struggling to read something. <laughs> I'm glad that's coming across. <laughs>
it's not tapered like you usually get sort of like funky chimneys where what that means is that usually that oh, it's getting a bit waffly i'm gonna do that whole bit again editing tony Heracles. Right. don't worry about that shut up we're in the middle of a review we've started so it's the middle <laughs> <laughs> right so welcome back as i said as we said i didn't say shit and he can't prove a damn thing yeah Apart from all this record pay for, and they're actually brilliant to look at. <laughs> is, is this your problem? Is it making you horny? Uh, <laughs> do that in an Austin Powers. <laughs> You're feeling randy, baby. <laughs> do I make you horny? Um, Just handy, handy, handy. So, I'm under attack. Modern again! <laughs> Dude, I was not even laughing that time. You cannot blame that. That was you with your, your waggling about with your hands, yeah. your chicken dance. <laughs> but let's just see how good. With a heat test. It's alright, I'll cut it. Okay. <laughs> Provided you're not scowling no. at the screen too much. <laughs> fine. Yeah, screws on, fits, it works just great. Just great. Just, great. It does, it is. Well, it's, I know. <laughs> Powers of words foul me. With their parts combined. I'm going to put it on the lanyard now. I can't even remember what that was from. No. No. So I, it was, I was like a kids' TV show. Yeah. That, wasn't it? Yeah. I keep wanting to say Power Rangers. I think, but... yeah, I think it is Power Rangers, <laughs> but I don't, I've never <laughs> w really watched Power <laughs> Rangers, which, <laughs> which could explain why I don't really know <laughs> what it is. You're powering their battery life from it, and it, it's really, really good. Particularly when you fuck up and drop it. Are we ready? Mm. And while Slack's having a piss, I'll give you guys a viewer requested cloud shot. Nice. Jesus, that must have been some sort of elephant piss you had. It really was, like a polar bear, just kept going. <laughs> so yeah, do be sure to head over to newworldvaping.com and check out their site for all your vaping needs. Uh, it's where I buy my stuff from as well as, yeah, that's how we met Craig and got into this whole thing. Oh, fucking hell, I just keep this fucking going this whole it starts off good. thing. <sighs> good. Good. Top of tea time. Definitely.